Today I'm going to show you how to display your subscribers, views, and video count in your Discord server in the channel section. Now this could be for your YouTube channel or any YouTube channel in fact. To start off we need to go to the first link in the description and it's top.gg and we're going to invite the AXVN bot. So click on invite. Then what you want to do is add it to your server. In this case it's your server. Click continue. Click authorize. Then click I am human. Make sure the bot actually gets invited. If I go to Discord, you'll notice I now have the bot inside my server. Now, once it's in your server, we actually need to find the content creator or your YouTube channel that we want to monitor. So in this case, if I go to Chrome, I need to go to some YouTuber's weird video, perhaps could be mine. Now, you might be inclined to click on their channel and copy the link to their channel, but what we want to do is we actually want to click on a video from the content creator. Sometimes the bot doesn't work, so just make sure, pick a video from the YouTube channel you wanna monitor. Now that we have that, we just need to click on the URL here and just keep clicking until you see HTTPS. Keep on clicking so the whole thing's selected, then press Control C, then go into Discord and we need to actually create the channels. So we need to do semicolon, YouTube, count, then space, create, space and paste in that video link and press enter. So as you can see, we have two channels created, but in the preview, I showed you three. How do we fix that? Well, the bot tells you that, oh, look, it already exists. Please run YouTube count fix and it should work. So we need to type in semicolon YouTube count space fix, press enter. Then it says all fixed and we need to run the same command that we did before. So semicolon YouTube count space create space and paste in the YouTube channel, press enter. And now you'll notice that a whole bunch of stuff is going on, but now we have views, videos, and subscribers. This really isn't the best. As you can see, if I'm zoomed in, the whole entire thing's cropped off. I could zoom out, yeah, and you'd be like, okay, now I can kind of see what's going on. So let's face it, these counters look really ugly. How do we change the formatting of them? Well, what we need to do is we need to type in semicolon U YouTube account space format space then we need to paste in the YouTube channel now the reason why we need to paste in the YouTube channel is that you can actually monitor multiple YouTube channels so that's pretty cool but in this case I'm just going to show you one because you could scale it up later I know you can do it but after you paste in the YouTube channel you need to click space and we need to select the count type we're following this command here in terms of count type that's basically what counter are we looking at. We have the views counter, the videos counter, and the subscribers counter. In this case, I want my subscribers counter to say subs, semicolon, then the number of subscribers. So I'm gonna type in subscribers as my count type. Now, once again, we're following this command guideline. Then we have formatting. Now, formatting is basically, how do you want it to look? So I want it to look like this, subs, semicolon, then space. Then I want it to show the number of subscribers. Now, this is where things get a little weird. We actually need to put in a little variable to represent the count or the number of subs we have. So to do that, we need to do open curly brace, type in count, then do closed curly brace. And when I press enter, you'll notice, ooh, it says subs and it shows the number. Now, let's say for the YouTube views, you have a lot of views and putting in, you know, 7,189, the huge number, that's just way too much. How do we cut it down so it just says like 7.1 million? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So once again, we need to change the formatting. So we're gonna do YouTube count space format space paste in the YouTube channel that you're trying to edit. Cause once again, it can do multiple channels. Click space. Then we are changing the views counter. Click space. And I want it to say views or I actually want it to say maybe my channel's name view, like no text to speeches views. So I'm gonna do name in the curly braces. Then I'm gonna do sem or a comma or apostrophe. It's one of those, then an S. So it's gonna say my name, which is no text to speeches views, then semicolon. Then I'm going to do something called S count. Now this S count command basically just rounds off the number. So instead of it being 7,189,000, all these numbers, it's just gonna be 7.19 million or whatever number it is. So in this case, if I press enter, you'll notice, ooh, it says no text to speeches and it gets cut off because my name's just really long. But if you look here, it'll say new formatting for no text to speeches views, 
7.19 million. So that's how you include the name in it. Now, just to show you another command, uh, this YouTube videos counter, I really don't want it. You know, if you're chasing clout, you just care about the views and the subscribers. It doesn't matter how many, you know, repurposed videos you have on your YouTube channel. No one cares about that. So to remove this specific YouTube videos thing, you could always just right click it and click delete. But the proper way of doing it is typing in semicolon YouTube count, then space remove. Now remember, when we put in remove or format, we need to always paste in the YouTube channel because we can work with multiple YouTube channels. That's why that little name variable that I put here for the previous command is useful because you can have like, oh, PewDiePie subscribers and then Mr. Beast subscribers, stuff like that. But once again, that's why we always paste in the YouTube channel. Then press space and we just need to pick the count type that we want to remove. Like I said before in that huge preamble, I wanted to remove my videos count. So I'm going to type in videos and press enter. And now look, it got removed. Now, if you ever get lost on what's going on and you just want to look at the formatting for your specific channels, just type in this command, semicolon YouTube count space list and press enter. Then you can see the voice channel. So what it's called, you can see the formatting and the count type. Remember how I was talking about that before? Then you can click next and it'll show you the other channels. In this case, I'm just going to make it look a little bit better because obviously this is still way too big. So I'm gonna type in semicolon, YouTube count, then a format, then paste in the YouTube channel. Always do that or else you'll have an error. Then I'm going to change my views count and I'm just gonna say video views semi or colon. Then I'm going to do S count because once again, S count is the rounded count. If I just put normal count, it's gonna show 7 million, 190, blah, 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 all that other garbage. So I'm gonna press enter and kaboom, video views, one, or that's not a one, that's a seven, 7.19 million. And finally, to make subscribers a little more friendly, I'm going to change the formatting of it again. Once again, I'm just kind of doing this to reiterate what's going on. In all honesty, if you understand it, see you later, alligator. But I'm trying to reiterate the point so it sticks in your brain. YouTube count space format space paste in the channel, then space. And I want to change the subscribers to so subscribers. Then I want to add in, uh, let's, uh, uh, cutie pies, uh, cutie space pies, colon. Then I'm going to do S count because I have, uh, a significant number of subscribers. Thank you guys. And I'm going to press enter and kaboom, cutie pies, 55.8 K. And that's basically it. Now there's a couple things to keep in mind. First off, this works with Twitch. So you can do Twitch count and press enter and you have the commands like before. In terms of your count type, you can have followers and views and that's it. And the second thing about this bot is that these counters don't update instantly. Like the second I get a subscriber, it doesn't just update. It takes a little bit. It goes through like, I don't know, 20 minute cycles. I'm not exactly sure the time frame, but don't expect it to be instantaneous. I'd say it's, it's gonna be close enough where it's still gonna be valuable information, but it's not gonna you know have a live count of your YouTube count because that would be uh, very taxing on the bot. Regardless, if you ever wanna get rid of the bot, it's very easy. Just right click on the bot, click kick, then delete the voice channels and it's all done. You don't have it anymore, but I'm gonna leave it because I don't know, maybe an ego issue. No, I'm kidding. Anyways, I love you, sweetheart. Hopefully this is useful. Mwah!